Hey, what's up? My name is DJ Vin, and this is a Virtual DJ 8 Keyboard Scratching tutorial video. Uh, this has been requested by quite a lot of people, so without further ado, let us just uh, jump straight into this. So you want to go to your settings. Uh, this is uh, the little gear icon on the top right of your screen. Uh, click on that and then uh, let me just make this uh, bigger. Um, okay, perfect. Uh, you want to head on to uh, this uh, option called uh, controllers. Uh -huh. So just quickly confirm that this um, is set to factory default. Um, that is uh, the little box that has mapping. And then from there we can start going about setting our mappers. So um, I use uh, three mappers for scratching, that is letter D, letter F and letter G. If you look at your keyboard, you'll see that letter D, F and G are along the same row on your keyboard and this is just to make scratching easier for me. So um, how to set up the keys now? You're going to see this little box here that has key at the top come and uh, you know highlight uh, or just click in there and then we're going to start by setting up our letter G so we hit letter G on your keyboard like that and then come down to the bigger box at the bottom written action then type in scratch space plus 120 MS. MS in this case stands for microseconds or milliseconds, I'm not really sure, but just type in scratch space plus 120 MS. Then come back again to this place written key, type in letter um, D, uh -huh. come back down to action, type in scratch space minus 120 MS. Okay. Then come back here again, type in letter F, then come back to the action uh, to, to, to the action space, type in Q underscore stop. Uh -huh. And that's um, that's just uh, that's just it. Um, let's just confirm this real quick on this um, left pin. We have letter G is a scratch plus scratch space plus 120 ms. Letter D is scratch space minus 120 ms. Letter F is Q stop. So yeah, um, we we have all the mappers set. Um, and uh, I think we're good to go now. Um, so let's just uh, go back to the page. Yeah, you're gonna get a, a virtual DJ notification window that's gonna ask you if you want to save the changes. Yes, click yes. Then we're back onto the main interface. So yeah, um, we, we have the mapper set up and uh, now it's all about uh, using them. So uh, just real quick, letter G was a forward scratch, letter D is a backward scratch, letter F is Q. Let me just illustrate that real quick. We set up letter G to be our forward scratch. Let's just test that out. See, we have a forward scratch. Letter D was our back scratch. Let's just do that again. Back scratch. Letter F is... Young money, young money. So um, depending on you know how fast your hands are and uh, what kind of patterns you you're interested in playing or you know making, uh, you can really achieve virtually any type of scratch you can do on a on a deck using this. Uh, you can do a simple baby scratch, something that goes like this. You can do um, slightly faster scratches, or you can do a uh, scratch and drop, scratch and drop. Yeah, and you can sometimes you can mix, you know, uh, different types of scratches. You can mix uh, fast scratches, slow scratches. You can mix tabs. You can mix cuts. You know, there's like a whole ton of possibilities when it comes to you know scratching using uh, mappers on the keyboard. Young money, young money, young money, young money, young money, young money. Young money, young money. Young money, young money. And um. All this is going to depend mostly on how you play around with the letter D and letter G or basically you sort of imagine yourself scratching on actual turntables and you try to replicate what you would do there here. 
one trick i one trick i use uh just to make this you know situation work perfectly for me is um i use different fingers i use my middle finger in uh, my left hand to trigger the back scratch then i use the middle finger in my right hand to trigger the forward scratch so that just makes it easier for you to scratch you know achieve these very fast scratches and do you know some really cool uh, uh effects okay so let me just show you guys uh, how this would work um in a low tempo track like uh, this one for for instance uh forward scratch back scratch forward scratch back scratch drop the track you know no nothing but I mean, when you're mixing and you're definitely uh, playing tracks that have more or less the same tempos, and you're trying to put, uh, you're trying to bring in this one, definitely you're going to be scratching at, at a slightly higher speed than what I'm doing right now. So it would definitely go something like this. You know, no nothing. You know, something of the sort. So um, for this example, I'm going to use a vocals only track, and uh, we can still, you know. Yeah, around with the with the with the buttons, letter D and letter G and letter F, just to achieve you know some cool sounding uh, scratches. Um, here's an instance. <laughs> you know that kind of stuff. So that has been it for this tutorial guys and uh, I'm looking forward to making more tutorials. Uh, if you have anything or any specific question that you uh, that you might be having regarding this or any other feature or any other mappers that you might want to learn about uh, do drop your comments and questions in the comment section below and i'll be sure to respond to each and everyone and uh, yeah um, i'll see you guys in the next one